Double honors to the elders and apostles of the nation of Israel, better known as the Great Millstone. Uh, Shalom, blessings and salutations to the elect, the one third behind the 44, and uh, death and destruction to all the wicked and the two thirds. Uh, the brothers brought us out to a stone uh, mountain here in uh, uh, Atlanta, Georgia. And you can see, you know, we've been pointing this out, the, um, this parade formation, these three mm -hmm. units, like said, the, the colonels of the Confederacy, right? And so when you look at that word parade, because uh, that's something that you see annually within your cities as well. And you'll notice cops, you'll notice uh, authority, military, they have the veterans and all that go through. Well, this word kind of helps describe that a little bit of, of what they're doing. So, and this is parade from Etymology Online, the verb. It says, to marshal and array in military order. You see? So that's what it's, uh, it's a show of power. So anytime you would see like a, um, any old movie, warriors, they would parade through the city, whether they won or they, they, whether they were returning. But they always had those grand roads leading up to the capital mm -hmm. to show off the military might. It would be a big parade and a, and a celebration. So that's what this is, is showing you that they've uh, conquered they conquered the land, they conquered uh, nature itself. This is what uh, a lot of the rock carvings are a demonstration of, of them uh, uh, taking control of, of, of the world that was given to them. Right. Let me, let me uh, read this. It says also, uh, transfer, trans, transitive sets of exhi exhibit or manifest ostentatiously show, show off. Basically showing off their might, their power. They've really got that display in that bravado, uh, bra bravado, which uh, the scriptures tell you that uh, the blessing of uh, uh, Cain was to uh, he was going to live by the sword, or the uh, Esau is going to uh, his blessing was with the sword. Right. And so this is how they overcame Gad. Brothers brought out the uh, the troop to overcome him. And uh, we'll get into more precepts. Good. Uh, this is uh, Ecclesiastes ten and seven. I have seen servants upon horses. Mm -hmm. the servants on the, on the horses are these Edomites. Right? These are the servants upon the horses and the princes walking on the earth behind them. That's Gad, like the brothers have been mentioning. Uh, this is an area for the charioteers. And so this is part of them showing and displaying and flaunting that, look, we had you uh, in such a state that we took something that was sacred to you and we, and they basically graffitied it. Ecclesiastes. And that's something that's a, a very indicative of, a, of an Edomite military. Like in World War II with Hitler, uh, they, they had a, a meme. It was a, a, ninth, a meme of the 40s or whatever where they, they would put, um, uh, so-and-so was here. They had a, a name, a certain name they always tagged. Your landmark. It, which was like yeah, like Carlson was here or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so Hitler thought that there was like a person actually named Carlson or whatever. Yeah. And he was like, how is how is this person like getting around and saying like he was here? It became a whole meme. Okay. But that's that's within their spirit to to, uh, to like graffiti, to mm -hmm. remove the ancient landmarks. You know. Mm -hmm. Was it Mount Rushmore? Where they Mount Rushmore. Other Edomite huh. faces is up there. Huh. Yeah. So verse eight. It says, "He that diggeth a pit shall fall in it." And whoso breaketh and hedge, a serpent shall bite him. Whoso removes stones shall be hurt therewith. And he that cleaveth wood shall be endangered thereby. Yep. So all that building, building up of idols and putting yourself around uh, these things that you're building up. These are things that are actually going to uh, uh, come back to bite you, you know, bite you in, in, in the butt, so to speak. It's like a, it's like a, a self testimony. Like, you, you can't even lie. Right? Mm -hmm. You put your evidence, you put the evidence right there. Yep. If I could ask, like, if I could add, and, and this goes to show you that who do, who's in rulership right. uh, in this land, particularly over those children of Israel. Yeah, the brother, um, showing that so like it's showing that Esau the end of the world and Jacob, our people are the people that uh that shall follow in the next rulership. Yeah, the, the brother Dawadab brought out uh, the Lamentations 4 and 21, has made himself naked and bare. That's like the brother uh, Mike Allah pointed out. This you can't you can't deny it. You just showed mm -hmm. yourself. Yeah. That, that, those, those are Edomites up there. What are you gonna go change the nose, knock the nose off? <laughs> pride. You see the pride in the faces on, on, on the carving. Yeah. Yeah. Then Esau, he always like 
Everything the that's most high makes, he gotta he gotta put his step on because he thinks he's as the most high. Yeah. So this is this is right here, this big mountain is what the most high place here on the earth. Yeah. And he goes and carves in it and, and puts his step on it because he always got that's why the scriptures say he's going the most high gonna destroy him that destroys the earth. So not only is he destroying destroying the earth, the most high made things in its perfect circle, in its perfect cipher, whatever how the most high wants things to operate. Yeah. But Esau's always going and he's digging in the earth. He's he's, he's fracking, digging out the oil out the earth, and that's the blood source of the earth. Yeah. So he always gotta put his step on because he thinks the most high didn't make things perfect as it is. Yeah. Leave it the way the most high had it. Yeah. Jake didn't do that. Yeah. When 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 we were in power, King, King David, King Solomon didn't go digging and messing up the earth like that. The most high put things in the in a, in a perfection the way he wanted it as as his creation. And here comes Esau thinking that he's the most high and he goes that everything is unto him and he does this. And that's why we well understand that uh understand why the Lord is gonna be uh he's gonna annihilate all the nation of Esau, all the nation of Edom. They're the only nation that's not gonna not gonna be be there after a thousand years in the kingdom. <laughs> kind of that's a, and if I can add, that's 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 uh, as both the uh, the the, Akim, the, 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 the the priest uh, mentioned. This is a very uh, a prideful act right here, man. You know what I'm saying? That's pride at, at its highest, uh, uh, you know, extreme, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and like the the elder said, uh, 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 Mount uh, Rushmore as well, man. You know, these devils putting their faces on things, man. That's pride. So I'm bringing this out. This is Obadiah chapter one and verse three. The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee. Thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. And we know that's talking about Esau, man. That's why you today you call yourselves call, uh, uh, Caucasians, man. You know what I'm saying? From the from the uh, 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 rocks of, of the Caucasus Mountains, man, in Georgia, Russia. Which, if you go further back, uh, 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 Mount Seir, which is Petra today, man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, uh, reading on, it says, uh, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground, man. And this is a mount, man. And so, you, of course, you got to be high up. And to, mm -hmm. to pull yourself down to even uh, be able to do something like that. That's not something that, uh, that Jake would do. You know what I'm saying? That's an Edomite thing right there, man. Yeah, that's so right. that, that high habitation. Go ahead, brother. Oh, no, I'm just saying that's your is. Con, con, con. You know, so. Uh, uh, Did you want to bring that up? Uh, hey, hey, keep going, brother. Keep reading. Yeah. Yeah, con, this is uh, 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 verse 4. Thou, thou that exalted thyself as the eagle, and thou that setteth thy nest among the stars, this will I bring thee down, said Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And this devil has definitely exalted himself as, as the eagle, man. You know what I'm saying? When you look at the at the uh, uh, the national uh, uh, bird of this place, which it goes back to the, the, the Romans and the Greeks as well, is the eagle, man. It's been the eagle. And it says you've exalted yourself as the eagle and uh, and set yourself among the stars, man. You put, you put your space stations and satellites in, in the house of the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? Entering into the house of the Lord, you know. Like some big bully, you know, and the bully and and the devil and the uh, 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 the Most High Yahweh Hashem is gonna bring you devils down, man. That's mm -hmm. why it says, uh, uh, "This will I bring thee down," saith Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So let me keep going. I, I want to bring this. I want to bring this other one out really quick, really quick. Uh, let me jump over to uh, uh, Jeremiah 51 because uh, uh, the Lord said, you know, He's gonna burn burn this place. This is uh, Jeremiah 51 and 25. And it reads, Behold, I am against thee, O destroying mountain. And this represents, mm. you know, along with uh, uh, Rushmore, you know what I'm saying, that Esau is that mountain, man, you know what I'm saying, that, which which represents governments, you know. He's that exalted government in, in this time. Uh, Joel 9, 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it says, uh, Behold, I am against thee, O destroying mountain, said Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, with just, which, which destroyeth all the earth. And this devil has definitely destroyed the entire planet Earth, man. You know, mm -hmm. all nations have suffered underneath this devil, but, yeah. but primarily the nation of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians of right. Negro descent, man. You know, you make up the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, man. You know, it says, uh, and I will stretch out mine hand upon thee and roll thee down from the rocks and will make thee a burnt mountain, man. Whoa. A burnt government, man. The Lord is going to destroy you devils, man. You know, <laughs> it's your time and, and we're at the end of it. Those missiles. No to bring out a point too. Not only did he put his his uh, his space station and his satellites in the, in the, uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the clouds in the heavens, the sec he also loves high shit, man. Like the rest, you quit to, to, to do this. Right. 
Did he yeah. he always glorify like the Eiffel Tower? Yeah. Um, um, no. Uh, the, uh, watch the monument. Yeah. Everything yeah. is high. Yeah. 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 The yeah. Empire State yeah. Buildings. Yeah. He, uh, yeah. uh, the Twin Towers. Yeah. All that stuff. He he likes high habitations because it reminds him of those Caucasus Mountains when he was in Georgia, Russia. Yeah. Those mountains was high that he used to dwell in. And he also he also got a God complex. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Like yeah. He yeah. Got so he can yep. so he can feel like yeah. nobody's higher than him. Right. And that's why you see the ego as his symbol yeah. because the ego is the highest bird that gets above all birds. Yeah, it comes Predator. down and looks down on his prey. Apex predators. God. Yep. No, Apex no predators. Nation beautiful. Is able to uh, accomplish these types of feats to his degree because uh, you got Gadites uh, out in the, in the I think it's in the Dakotas. It's either the Dakotas or Montana, but they got another sacred the, uh, mountain, and they started doing the mighty uh, men of Bab. The mighty uh, men of Bab. Uh, carving of crazy horse. Oh, and it's just the head of the horse and him on the it. mighty men of and they've been working at it for like you know 15 20 30 years or something mm -hmm. but they can't finish it it's crazy because they they work all that time just so it could be destroyed in an hour yeah, right. yeah. You know what I'm saying? but, but gad's been trying for years to get their own like historic monument up you know and it, it they can't complete it but but edom he'll, he'll get it done oh yeah that's showing you that like hey the most high is with edom Showing himself to be and revealing himself to be the devil that he is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Gad, is, Gad he wants to compete because they got money with all the tribes, the casinos and stuff. But you can see that they, they keep the people in a poor condition. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And even if they offer them uh, the financial training and education, how to you know run a business and get multiple properties, and stuff, they don't take it. He's so, he's it's the curses like the too. Infiltrate, uh, oh, yeah. the, the reservations, man. A lot of those yep. Gadites that's running the, the, the reservation with the casinos are actually Edomites. Yep. They're not, they're not Edomites. Yeah. They're Mingle with the Gadites. The yeah, majority yeah. of them are yeah. Edomites. They, 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 paint, they paint themselves as, as Gadites so they can get them benefits. They, yep. mm -hmm. they call it uh, two dollar Indians. Five dollar yeah. Indian. Five yeah, they yeah, actually five. Pay, they, they, they pay five bucks and they submitted it in to say that you're a Native American. Mm -hmm. And they get all of um, the benefits but they don't give them to the yeah, real, the yeah, real yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah. You can't even uh, apply it for uh, citizenship. You know, mm -hmm. if, you want to, if you Cherokee and your line go back to being Cherokee, you know they won't even allow you to be a part. Speak up a little. Yes, lock it. They won't even let you be a part of um, you know the Cherokee Nation. You yeah. know. Even if your bloodline goes back to it, yeah, you know, because you had to sign whatever at the yeah, time, whatever yeah, exactly. documentation that they had. If you, if your tribe didn't submit to Esau and sign those documentation with the nation of Israel, we ain't, they was fighting. Mm -hmm. So you had some tribes that did it, and you had some tribes that didn't. You had majority of the tribes that didn't. Yeah. So now that we way in the future, you feeling the effects of of, of uh, not being able to get no benefits. Mm -hmm. You know, they got all. This is Job uh, 20 and 3. I have heard the check of my reproach, and the spirit of my understanding causes me to answer, knowing thou not this of old, since man has was, was placed upon earth, that the triumph of the wicked is short, and the, and, and the joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment. Thou, though his excellency mounts up to the heavens, and his head reaches into the clouds, Yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him and shall you say, the, you where the, is he? Uh, I'm sorry, you had the Indian Wars that lasted hundreds of years. And it seemed like it was a long time, but now we 20 and 21. Mm -hmm. We in 2021. That, that time was actually short. You know what I mean? So the Most High is making a, a speedy, is a speedy, speedy really an ending of this guy. That's right. You know? And then we know that in the, in the, uh, in the time of the Most High, and the time on the planet Earth is way different. Mm -hmm. So, so what? Five hundred years to the Most High is half of a day. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, because, yeah. yeah because the triumph of the wicked is is, is you're, you're coming down. It's it's known across the Earth with, through prophecies that you're on your down slope. Mm -hmm. You you didn't you didn't hit your peak, and then you were going like this through time. But now you're on your downward slope. You're on a downward spiral. Yeah. You got you got that, bro. Con, this is uh, this is Baruch chapter four and verse twenty-five. Mm -hmm. My children, suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from the Most High. So this this what you see behind behind you. We suffered through this. Our people suffered through all this. And we still suffer to this day. And we're gonna continue to suffer to the Most High. Say red light on uh, uh, red light on our suffering, green light on Esau's suffering. Right. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Con, for thine enemy hath persecuted thee, but shortly. Thou shalt see his destruction and shall tread upon his neck. Yeah, that's right. 
So the, the tables will be turned. You're going to be in slavery. You're going to get double of what you did to us. Whatever you see that you've done to us that's documented on paper, on video, and, and, and known to man, double is coming. You're going to drink the dregs of that cup of slavery. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a uh, real quick. This is Isaiah 33 and 1. When you both can break it. Woe to thee that spoilest, and thou was not spoiled. And dealest treacherously, and they dealt not treacherously, treacherously with thee. Mm. When thou shalt cease to spoil, thou shalt be spoiled. And that's a that's a key Gadite. Right? You you, you were gonna speak on that about how Gad came with real peaceable uh, offerings unto them, yep. unto these Edomites, and they still got got condemned. They still uh, double crossed them. Because Gad taught you how to cultivate the land, how to how to plant, how to grow, how to survive during winters, and then you turn around and got that knowledge from them, and then you you you, you jumped on them, yep. and you took the land from them, mm -hmm. and then also uh, through spoils, you trying to get your your uh, new world order off the ground. That's not gonna happen. You're gonna be spoiled when you're trying to put your spoils on the whole world. You want you want to uh, implement your new world order. You want to one world government. You you want to chip everybody. That's not gonna happen. You're gonna be you're gonna be the spoil when you're trying when like the scriptures say when you're trying to fill your belly. That's when you will the most high bring you down. You have more right. It mm -hmm. says, and when thou shalt make an end to deal treacherously, they shall deal treacherously with thee. Exactly. Mm -hmm. O Lord, Yahweh, be gracious unto us. We have waited for thee. Be thou their arm every morning, our salvation also in thy time of trouble. And that's the elect. Beautiful. The elect is, is the ones who wait and pray patiently for, for our salvation. And we're going to end it on this one last scripture. Do you still have more? You, uh, well, yeah, just, I'll, point, I'll, huh? I'll, I'll bring this out real quick. You know, uh, this is Psalms 55 and verse uh, uh, 21. Uh, 20, I'll start at verse 20. He hath put forth his hand against such as be at peace with him. Mm -hmm. He hath broken his covenant. And that's going into Esau breaking. In. This dude broke over 400 uh, uh, plus covenants with the with uh, with Gad, man. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he's still breaking them to his yeah, kind, he's Still breaking them. Kind. Uh, verse 21. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. You know, in his mind, man. Mm -hmm. uh, it says the words. His words were softer than oil. They but they were drawn. They they drawn swords. swords. Con con. You know what I'm saying? So this, you know, and to this day, this devil still does that, man. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? He, he crosses at, at, as a lion seeking uh, uh, whom he may devour, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This dude is a, is a pure demon and devil, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you can't trust him. Uh, uh, Sirach, yeah. uh, uh, the 12th chapter, never trust thine enemies. And you got Jake right now lining up to take that max. Trust in this devil, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? When the, 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 the scriptures are very clear, the Lord is very clear, man. Yeah. Don't deal with this dude, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Gad, you know, he, he showed... Uh, uh, who he was dealing with with the uh, the northern kingdom, man. Yeah. You know, coming yep. over here uh, uh, with uh, uh, interpreters. Yeah. You know, Hebrew interpreters. You know, with that with that picture of uh, uh, Cheshire Borgia yeah. and, and and the Bible which he stole. You yeah. know, and, and, and sent these people uh, for the taking. You know, and took Gad down, almost decimated Gad, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got Jake that be saying, I got this Gat. I get this Gat. Right. But Gat goes back to Richard Gatlin. Yeah. Which yeah. is the, the Gatlin the, gun. The, the Gatlin gun. Con. Revelation six. created that gun. Yep. Con. And, and, Con. And, and the Lord used that gun to 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 slow Gad all the way down. You know, the tables turned in war. Mm -hmm. you know? With that instrument, yeah. That, that was the X Factor, that Gatlin gun. Yeah. That's right. And also, the brother, the brother Red said his. Words were uh, were uh, in oil. Mm -hmm. read, read that part. Con, I'll read it again. This is Psalms 55 and 21. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, mm -hmm. but war was in his heart. His words were smoother than oil. That's it. His words were smoother than oil. Anybody knows oil? Oil is slick. Mm -hmm. You can't just walk and run across oil. You're gonna you're gonna end up on your ass. Mm -hmm. So that's how it is. When you when you deal with Esau, you're gonna end up on your ass. Right. That's why I say it. the scripture tells you that that he's gonna. Rise up and try to take your place. Right. So he's so his words is just it's just he's it's slick. Yep. That's why it says never trust that enemy. He's right. Setting you up, man. Setting you up for a fall, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. To take you down, just like the brother said, and take your place, man. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. One more, and we close it out. Sure. This is Ezekiel 25 and 12. It says, "Thus said the Lord, Power, because that Edom had dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance." And had greatly offended and revenged himself upon upon them, and he did what, and, and, and he did the same thing to to the northern kingdom as well. Therefore, thus said the Lord, I will also stretch out mine hand upon Edom, and will cut off man and beast from it, and will make it desolate from teeming 
and they of Dedan shall fall by the sword. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel, and they shall do in Edom according to mine anger and according to my fury, and they shall know my vengeance, said the Lord Power. What was you reading that? Slash, what was you reading from? Ezekiel, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Prophecy, it hasn't happened yet. Edom hasn't been judged as an entire nation. Because if they had, when you get into Obadiah, like the last verse, it's a dead giveaway that Edom is still alive. That's right. You can't. You can't be. Uh, you can't. You can't be on a future uh, 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 prophecy destruction if you're not here. Right. So you're obviously here. Come, come. This you want to bring down. This this is Obadiah chapter one and verse twenty one. That's what I missed. And saviors shall come up on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau, and the kingdom shall be Yahweh Bashi See, so that lets you know that the vengeance on Edom is going is going to uh, usher in the kingdom. So for you got guys saying oh, that's already happened, then that would mean that we are in the kingdom already. Yeah. And then that would mean also that uh, uh, the so-called Jews they need to they need to point out who's who's the northern kingdom, who's Israel that was yeah. oppressed with you, mm -hmm. like the brothers were bringing out earlier. Yeah. So it brings up all these questions that they can't answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? So and all they lying. Um, that would that would mean that Isaiah the second chapter is not true, because there shouldn't be no war in that land if the real children of Israel are there. That's right. Right, right, come, come. Hey, with that, hopefully, brothers were uh, edified, you know, and, uh, you know, hey, the water uh, for these brothers bringing us out and showing us this. You know, all praise going on to the Most High. Yahweh. Shalom. Shalom.